Good evening. My name is Miriam Johnson. On behalf of the senior class, I would like to welcome you to the 2020 graduation ceremony. Thank you to all who have made it possible to move forward with graduation. Thank you to all the friends, family, and community members who are here for this unprecedented graduation. It is pretty crazy to realize that it has been 13 years since us seniors started school. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Years of hard work and support have helped us reach today. It is an honor to have everyone here continuing to support us. Good evening. I am Senior Class President Ryan Jones. I would like to thank you all for tuning in to Dallas High School's 2020 graduation ceremony. Welcome to friends and family of all 2020 graduates. Uh, we would put in a lot of work to get to today and we thank you for supporting us through all the craziness that has been our senior year. We're going to keep things off today with the national anthem sung by one of our very own 2020 graduates. So let's give it up for Shaylin. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting Good evening, I am ASB Secretary Sarah Baer and I would like to introduce the valedictorians and salutatorian for the class of 2020. Please join me in congratulating Sarah Baer, Gavin Grass, Miriam Johnson, Caleb Jones, Ryan Jones, Megan Johnston, Casey Tilner, Taylor Williamson, Rand Wood, and salutatorian Meredith Owis. Class of 2020. For years we have been told that we are the class with a vision, and right now our vision seems a little clouded. We missed out on senior rap trip, prom, our traditional awards banquet, and graduation, as well as many other events that we had all looked forward to for years, and especially in the past few months. All of these losses do not symbolize a lack of accomplishment or celebration. Through them, we have proven that we are able to rise above the obstacles as a community, class, and as individuals we are still able to persevere despite challenges. It is still our year. Let's celebrate as we close this chapter of our lives and begin the next. With that, I would like to thank my high school teachers, peers, and close friends for the memories that I will cherish for years to come and for making high school some of my most formative years that I will look back on and that will prepare me for my future. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. Hello, class of 2020 and everyone watching. I'd like to begin by giving an extra thank you to my family who has always been supportive of me, my teachers and counselors for always putting up with me and helping me when I needed some guidance, and all my friends who have encouraged me and challenged me in my courses. Now, I know our senior year may not have gone quite like any of us were anticipating, and graduation probably doesn't look like what we've been expecting and looking forward to over the years. But there is one thing I know for certain, it has been a unique and memorable year and experience. As Dr. Seuss once said, sometimes you will never know the value 
of a moment until it becomes a memory. And there has been no class before us that has had these kinds of ceremonies, and there will most likely be no class after us. We are going through a moment in history that will stand out to us for the rest of our lives. I understand that athletes miss their final season, theater students miss big events like Ashland, and we all miss experiences like our senior prom. But I believe we should be looking at what we have gained. It doesn't feel great to miss all these things. And right now, it actually kind of sucks. But we have gained something that nobody can take away from us. A uniqueness. So let's not squander what we have by moving. We are a great class and nobody has the right to tell us otherwise. We have something that no one has and we should be proud. So let us spend today, tomorrow, the next day and the next being grateful for what we have gained because the class of 2020 is prepared for whatever the world throws at us. No extraneous, unplanned, or wild events can stop us from reaching our goals. Thank you, class of 2020. 2020 graduates, I know this day is not exactly what we had in mind, but I don't wanna focus on that today. I wanna to focus on how wonderful these last 12 to 13 years have been. And to do that, I want to read an anonymous poem that the wonderful Mr. John Beck introduced to a few of us a week or two ago called Bits and Pieces. Bits and pieces, bits and pieces, people, people important to you, people unimportant to you, cross your life, touch it with love, and move on. There are people who leave you, and you breathe a sigh of relief and wonder why you ever came into contact with them. There are people who leave you, and you breathe a sigh of remorse and wonder why they had to go and leave such a gaping hole. Children leave parents, friends leave friends, acquaintances move on, people change homes, people grow apart, enemies hate and move on, friends love and move on. You think of the many people who have moved in and out of your hazy memory. You look at those present and wonder. I believe in God's master plan in our lives. God moves people in and out of each other's lives and each leaves a mark on the other. You find you are made up of bits and pieces of all who has touched your life. You are more because of them and you would be less if they had not touched you. Pray that you accept the bits and pieces in humility and wonder and never question and never regret. Bits and pieces, bits and pieces. This is such a fitting poem, especially for right now. These last couple months, we have all had plenty of time to think. And I, for one, I thought about how all of you have left bits and pieces of yourself in me and I in you. We will walk around this earth for hopefully many more years to come and always have those pieces with us, shaping us, helping us learn and grow in life. My quest for all of you is to continue to leave some of the best bits and pieces of yourself with others that you meet so they may grow and be better people because of it like all of you have done for me. And with that being said, congratulations, class of 2020. This year may have been rough, but we came out stronger than we ever would have been otherwise. Good luck, everyone. You will all forever have a huge and very special place in my heart. The American pop duo MKTO once said, quote, you've got to wake up, get up, and do something. And this is my advice to all those in the virtual audience today. We should not let this life go to waste. Instead, we should try to make the most of every day. Life is short, so make it epic. The Swedish DJ Avicii once said, Live a life you will remember. Thank you. So, Hello, class of 2020. Well, here we are, and needless to say, this senior hasn't gone quite according to plan. Instead of having a grand ceremony and celebrating together, I'm here, in my house, uh, looking at a phone camera. But regardless of how different things look this year, I'm still grateful for my years at Dallas High School, as well as the things that I've learned, including the friendships I've made and the experiences that will carry with me for years to come. As the first graduating class of a new decade, it is our challenge to set the tone and to not let the setbacks of these final few months of high school define us, but rather to exhibit our strengths and resilience in the face of adversity and to let that be our legacy. I want to thank the teachers and staff at Dallas High School, as well as my coaches and my parents for guiding me and supporting me through these four years, along with these last few challenging months. Congratulations to all my fellow graduates. There is no doubt that 2020 is the class of vision. We are strong and we are ready to do great things. Thank you. Dear fellow seniors, congratulations. After many years of hard work and dedication, we have finally arrived at the moment we've all been working towards. We have accomplished so much, and now all our hard work has finally paid off. However, this ceremony is not just a celebration of our achievements, 
We owe this moment to the people that helped and supported us along the way. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge and appreciate the parents, teachers, counselors, coaches, and other mentors that got us here. Thank you all for everything you've done to help us get to where we are now. We could not have done this without you. And now, whether we're ready to or not, it's time for us to move on. As we begin this next chapter of our lives, we prepare to go out and leave our mark on the world. Eleanor Roosevelt stated that the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So I say, dream big, believe in yourself, and never, ever, ever give up. And just remember that no matter what you choose to be, you have the power to change the world. Life has not been kind to us, and things are just going to get harder from now on. But we are the class of 2020. We came into this world in the wake of one of the most traumatic events in our nation's history, and now here we are graduating in the midst of a global pandemic. This may not have been the senior year any of us wanted, but this experience will undoubtedly make us all stronger. If we can survive this, there won't be anything we can't handle. The great Bob Ross once said, you can do anything you want to do. This is your world. And it's true, this is our world. If we believe in ourselves, nothing can stand in our way because we are the class of 2020. In the words of legendary Michael Scott, may your hats fly as high as your dreams. So hats off to us, the graduating class of 2020. Hey guys, it's me again. These speeches are supposed to be a time to look towards our future. But with the way the world is right now, our class's future is more uncertain than any class before us, and we don't have any idea what we have in store for ourselves. But we do know that we have each other. This class has had the opportunity to learn and to grow together over the past 12 years, and it was cut short right before the end. And although we missed out on our last semester of senior memories, this pandemic has given us a chance to engage with others and with the community in a new and unique way. I hope that you all use this time in isolation to keep in touch with each other. And I encourage all of you to use this summer to connect with your friends before we take that big step into whatever the world looks like after this global health crisis. Because those that have stayed close to you throughout this time are the ones that you want to stay close with you for the rest of your life, wherever it ends up going. It has been an honor to be recognized as a leader among my peers with this title of valedictorian. And I'd like to thank all the teachers and counselors that worked with us to ensure that we walked across the stage today. We are the class of 2020. We are resilient, we are adaptable, and most importantly, we are united. Thank you, and stay safe, everybody. Hello, I am so grateful for this opportunity to speak to you today. Thank you so much to all the teachers, coaches, and church leaders who have helped me get to where I am now. Your examples have taught me so much. Thank you to my encouraging and very energetic family, including my extended family. You have supported me exactly how I have needed these past 18 years. Thanks for helping me to stay positive and energetic and for providing me with strength in my weak times. Thank you to my good friends for the adventures that we have embarked on together. My biggest thank you goes to one who has known me longer than I can even remember. Thank you to my Heavenly Father for giving me the strength and hope I have needed, as well as blessing me to have all of you amazing people in my life. Today there is so much to celebrate with the class of 2020. Congratulations to each of my classmates on all you have accomplished in all aspects of your life. It is a lot and you should be proud of yourselves. Not only have we achieved a lot as a class, but we have also overcome so much. For example, my entire eighth grade English class, where we studied and acted out, Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream for months. I don't think I'll ever forget those memorable characters like Hernia and Lysol. On a more serious note though, we have overcome injuries, mental illness, and loss of loved ones, not to mention the unforeseen effects of COVID-19. As Russell Nelson has said, we can feel joy regardless of what is happening or not happening in our lives. This is something I came to understand a few years back. Even when it seems like everything is going wrong and we feel like we are being broken to pieces, even when life squeezes lemon juice and Tabasco sauce in our eyes, we can choose to have joy. Today, the thing I wish to celebrate the most with the class of 2020 is all we have become as we have accomplished our goals and overcome our trials. I hope that as each of you think back on what you have become, that you feel proud of who you are and how far you have come. And I hope that as life goes on, you choose daily to become the person you wish to be. Thank you for the adventures. Now go experience more.
Good afternoon, I am Carson Overstreet and it is my pleasure to introduce the speaker for the 2020 graduation ceremony. Please welcome Mr. Larson. Hey Dragons, congratulations class of 2020. I am so proud of all of you. I would like to say thank you, especially to my son Reed, and thank you to all of you for the special and unique gifts each of you bring and the experiences you've provided. All of you are getting ready for a new beginning a new beginning that you get to mold and make it anything you wish. Some of you are worried about this new beginning. Some are apprehensive and some are excited, but it's nothing new to you. You had a new beginning when you started elementary school, then again at middle school and yet again at high school. 13 years you have been attending school filled with new beginnings. Now, tomorrow, Saturday, June 6th, 2020, you will start that new beginning. What's your plan for this new beginning? What mark will you leave and whose lives will you positively impact? So I challenge each of you to take this new beginning head on, settle for nothing less than your best, and please enjoy the journey. Thank you, Mighty Dragons. Thank you. I would like to introduce our invited guest, Dallas School District Board Chair, Michael Blanchard. Good evening, my name is Mike Blanchard. I have the honor of representing the community in the school system as a member of the Dallas School District Board of Directors. On behalf of Mike Bullman, John Woods, Dave Hunt, and Matt Posey, we'd like to congratulate the class of 2020. You, you've made us all very proud. I'm also a dad to a graduate this year, Madison Page. As you know, she's done a lot of crying on stage in the last four years. So if I happen to get choked up or you see a little bit of glistening right here, that's just because I'm doing some acting. She's taught me that. She also takes a place as the fourth generation of her family to receive a diploma from the Dallas High School. When her great grandma and five other girls all across the stage 108 years ago, she was part of a first for our community. They were public high school graduates, the first ones in Dallas. Tonight, when Maddie and her friends cross the stage, they will be a first as well. But this is a first we would rather not seen. A few months, a few short months ago, we all had a vision in our mind's eye of what this day would look like. Maybe it was a sunny day out on the turf field. Maybe it was a hot, sweaty gym and a thunderstorm was raging outside. Maybe there was snow. Maybe there was a tornado. Graduation. Maybe there was going to be long, boring speeches full of platitudes and three perfunctory quotes. Ben Franklin, Maya Angelou, you know, the standards. Or maybe there'd be little shorter, sweet speeches and more time for celebratory pictures and authentic hugs on the field. Nothing could have prepared us for this. Nothing could have prepared the class of 2020 to be stripped of the victory lap that the few, last few months should have been. Nothing about this is fair or just. Nothing about this doesn't hurt. Nothing about this is as it should be. But here's the platitude part. Nothing about this means that sorrow and regret should fill this day. This day, our tears are of joy and celebration, not sadness and isolation. We're here to celebrate your accomplishments. Class of 2020, you deserve more for the end of your Dallas school career. It didn't happen the way we hoped it would. But here's your challenge. Wake up tomorrow and say, is that the worst life can throw at me? Well, I'm still here and the sun's coming up. I will make this day better than yesterday. Seneca was a pretty cool guy who wrote down some pretty deep stuff. I'd encourage you guys to read some of it. He had to go through some pretty tough times. He worked for Nero on the top 10 list of bad bosses in all time history. At one point, he filmed a TikTok and called out some of the more privileged of his times. He said, 
I judge you unfortunate because you have never lived through misfortune. You have passed through life without an opponent. No one can ever know what you are capable of, even you. Class of 2020, you now know what you are capable of doing. Hold your head high. Walk into the next room, the next school. Walk into boot camp. Walk into your next job. Walk into parenthood, knowing exactly what you are made of. One more quote. I'm keeping it to two for you. This one's from Marcus Aurelius. It's time to realize that you have something in you more powerful and miraculous than the things that affect you and make you dance like a puppet. You guys aren't puppets. Today you join us as citizens, as adults, as men and women that will make our future better. Class of 2020, congratulations and good luck. Stay in touch with each other. Stay in touch with us. Be good to yourself and get some sunshine. You guys deserve it. Hello, I am ASB Spirit Director Carson Overstreet, and it is my pleasure to introduce Superintendent of Dallas Schools, Andy Blando. Hello, Dallas families, friends, and graduates, seniors. These comments are for you. What an epic time in your lives. Not only have you earned the highest distinction of Dallas School District, you've done it in style during a pretty weird time. I have four words for you right now. It's all about you. How about that? The people watching this video, the people lining the streets of Dallas during graduation, your teachers from kindergarten through 12th grade, every one of them, your staff members, your parents, and so many others are celebrating you. Soak it in, just for a moment anyway. Accept it and let it warm your soul as you take this well-prepared step into your future. So we may not be able to shake a hand or give a fist bump or give a hug right now, but you have thousands of people in the Dallas community and beyond who are beaming with pride. I'm one of them. Now, go make a difference. Way to go, Dragons. Congratulations. Good afternoon. I am ASB Spirit Director Carson Overstreet, and it is my pleasure to introduce our principal, Mr. Steve Spencer. In preparation for this graduation commencement speech, I spent some time contemplating the extraordinary and unprecedented events you have faced in your life and schooling. You have experienced somber world events, starting with the World Trade Center bombings on September 11, 2001, to the global coronavirus pandemic you are currently facing. You have lived through the Great Recession, school closures, political bickering, and so much more. When I read of an account that shared the following story, as published in a pa paper in Manchester, England, I thought I had to share it. I believe it has a message written especially for you. It reads, a hurricane had hit the West Indies, and a bricklayer was sent to repair the damage. He wrote to the Home Office as follows, respected sir, when I got to the building, I found that the hurricane had knocked some bricks off the top, so I rigged up a beam with a pulley at the top of the building and hoisted up a couple barrels full of bricks. When I had fixed the building, there was a lot of bricks left over. I hoisted the barrel back up again and secured the line at the bottom, and then went up and filled the barrel with the extra bricks. Then I went to the bottom and cast off the line. Unfortunately, the barrel of bricks was heavier than I was. And before I knew what was happening, the barrel started down, jerking me off the ground. I decided to hang on, and halfway up, I met the barrel coming down and received a severe blow on the shoulder. I then continued to the top, banging my head against the beam and jamming my finger in the pulley. When the barrel hit the ground, it burst its bottom, allowing all the bricks to spill out. I was now heavier than the barrel, and so I started down again at high speed. Halfway down, I met the barrel coming up, and received severe injuries to my shins. When I hit the ground, I landed on the bricks, getting several painful cuts from the sharp edges. At this point, I must have lost my presence of mind 
because I let go of the line. The barrel then came down, giving me another heavy blow on the head and putting me in the hospital. I respectfully request sick leave. To the graduates of 2020, life is like that, ups and downs, a bump on the head, a crack on the shins. There is something of a tendency among us to think that everything must be lovely and rosy and beautiful without realizing that even adversity has some sweet uses. I believe that because of these challenges and adversities that the class of 2020 is uniquely prepared. We have heard you are a resilient generation. I would like to take resiliency a step further. People want to be resilient, able to withstand uncertainty and volatility. We withstand um, that uncertainty and volatility in a way that helps us to envision being more like a light bulb than a candle, unaffected by the breeze at all. Yet the candle, or the light bulb, withstands the breeze, which is like an external adversity, and glows as long as it is on a sturdy base, has a uniform current flow, and is not shaken. In an unstable environment, even the resilient light bulb becomes fragile. Likewise, attempting to be resilient in today's environment can cause one to become fragile. In his book, Anti-Fragile, Things that gain from disorder, Nassam Talib makes this argument. Anti-fragile is the quality essential for individuals, families, businesses, systems, and governments that wish to thrive in an increasingly complex and volatile world. Talib argues the goal is to be not like a candle or a light bulb, but like fire, gaining, growing, and fueled by the winds of adversity and the challenges in its path. It is no longer enough to bounce back from adversity and volatility, to be resilient. You, the class of 2020, have to bounce back stronger and better. You have to become anti-fragile. Sometimes the best lesson we can learn is to look ahead and know when to let go of the rope. Sometimes it is to look at situations and figure out how to fuel our efforts to become stronger as a result. May you, the class of 2020, move beyond being resilient. May you be anti-fragile. Thank you.